since the time that I had my first boyfriend, I had back-to-back -back relationships. That sounds really bad. Hey guys. <laughs> I filmed this video like three times now. We're just gonna roll with whatever this video ends up being. I was doing a story time, which is a story I've been wanting to share with you guys, but I didn't like the way that I filmed it because it was so unorganized. It's a story that I'm gonna have to write down like what I'm going to say. So I deleted that and then I refilmed and I was like, let me catch them up on my life. And that didn't go well either because I started rambling about things that just didn't make sense. So then I filmed again, trying to do that same thing and it still didn't make sense. I'm sorry, I'm yelling already and the video just started. I know. Stop leaving your comments about me yelling. I'm not yelling, I just talk loud. Anyway. Hi guys, how are you? I don't even know what to say. We haven't, we haven't sat down in a while and talked and there's reasons for that. To be honest, like, I just don't know what to film anymore. I know what I like to film. I know the type of videos I like to watch, but that doesn't mean you guys like that. I don't know, I, the type of people that watch my videos aren't into my kind of videos, does that make sense? I go into like my settings and I look at like my demographics and stuff. The majority of the people that watch my videos are gamer guys and I don't play video games, nor am I a guy. I don't know what I do that's entertaining so I struggle. YouTube has changed a lot over the years. Um, I've been a part of YouTube since September 2008 and the types of videos that people upload has changed drastically over time. Back then I felt like I was a part of the YouTube community because the type of videos that people would upload and things that were trending was stuff that I enjoyed filming and other people enjoyed watching. But I feel like I'm kind of at that point where YouTube has changed so much and I feel like I haven't gotten to that point because I don't know what it is that I genuinely want to do on YouTube. Like, I like rambling. I'm literally gonna unbutton these before I suffocate and die. And even then, it wasn't even that much because we didn't have that many- Actually, we had a lot of classes together. What am I talking about? I like doing dumb things. This could be a whole lot worse. <laughs> Can it? No, probably not. <laughs> but I feel like that's so not YouTube anymore. I don't know what I'm doing. So that's why sometimes I won't upload because I don't know what people want to watch. I know what I want to watch. I know what I want to film. But is that what other people want to watch? I don't know. Let me know in the comments what you guys want to see from me. You know, I started YouTube on a channel that made it to almost 400 subscribers and we have thousands of views on some of our videos and going from all of that to starting over on this channel is very hard for me because it took so long to build our audience on that channel that starting over is extremely hard because it's like, okay, now I have a completely new audience because some of those people didn't follow me to this channel. I don't know what the what you guys wanna watch. I don't know. So yeah, here we go, I'm rambling again. But we're gonna we're gonna keep filming because I'm not filming a fifth time. Um, let me catch you up on my life. I'm still at the same job, I'm still single. I'm starting to think this is just gonna be my life. Nah, I can't even say I've tried Whoa! Okay, pause. No, I really, I haven't made any effort. <laughs> what is, okay, here's the thing. Here's the thing about being single, okay? All of, since the time that I had my first boyfriend, I had back-to-back -back relationships. That sounds really bad. I mean that the, I don't know if there's a way that you can mean that in the best way possible, but I meant it in the best way possible. They were long-term. It wasn't like, oh, I dated this guy for like a month and then I dated another guy for a month. Like, it wasn't like that. They were all long-term relationships. I was very used to being in a relationship. So once that last relationship ended, I've been single. And I feel like I've gotten so comfortable being single that I almost don't know how to even think about starting another relationship. And it's, it's not even like, like, I'm happy single, but I'm also happy in a relationship. So it's not even like, I'm not necessarily looking for a relationship, but I'm also not necessarily looking to stay single, if that makes sense. But if I ever want to be in a relationship, I don't even know how to do that. Like, how did I used to do that? Like, 
do you feed them do you take them for a walk like I, d I don't know how long ago okay how long have I been single let's let's think about this okay no oh my god I've almost made five years of being single I'm 24 I'm going to be single forever mm. Mm. I don't know I have mixed feelings on that anyway moving on to more important things chapstick okay so I'm sorry we have to talk about this I've told this story on the MS show, so I'm gonna give like a brief summary of this. I have an obsession with chapstick. It started when I had my first kiss. When I had my first kiss, I was not prepared at all. Um, my lips were very chapped. I don't think he thought that, but I did. So ever since then, I've been really self-conscious of having chapped lips that I always made sure I carried chapstick and over the years it just got worse and now I have like a I have like a makeup bag like like that big of just chap like just all chapstick all different kinds of chapsticks every so often I'll go through it and toss old ones because I just have so many that like it's oh I can't even keep all of my chapstick in this makeup bag like and I've gone through it like last time I went through it was in October and it's already full again and I can't fit the new ones that I just got for Christmas in there it's a problem well I mean it's not the worst problem actually it kind of I don't know kind of is a problem but like it kind of isn't because like who's it really affecting no one maybe I should give away the new chapstick that I haven't opened yet because honestly do I really actually I'm gonna open one of them because it's strawberry lemonade and I really want strawberry lemonade anyway you probably guys you words you guys probably don't care about chapstick so we're gonna move on let's talk about 2019 goals resolutions is that what people call it resolutions Res you resolve things you you yeah <laughs> Okay, what are some things that I want to do for the new year? Spend less money. Um, I, I'm not the type of person that spends a lot, but something that I do spend my money on a lot is food. So I kind of want to cut back on that. I mean, I've already failed today, but like tomorrow's a new day. I want to find a new job. No offense. You know, my job is cool and all. You know, I love my coworkers, love my bosses, but it's time. I'm not a fan. So let's let's work on that. Find friends. No. I kind of want to give you guys a little sneak peek on the story time that I want to tell at some point. I want to tell it soon while it's still fresh in my memory, but I want to properly tell it. So that's why I haven't done it yet. So I'm going to give you a little sneak peek of this story. The story I want to tell is about a girl that I used to work with who... Honestly, I almost fought. <laughs> um, still makes me kind of angry also to think about. Um, but this girl was psycho and she threatened to start recording things that I was saying because she didn't trust me that much. Which is so crazy because like, not to sound really full of myself, but like, why wouldn't you trust me? <laughs> Actually, I have actually gotten to a fight. I don't know if I'll ever tell that story. I almost want to because, honestly, the views on that video. <laughs> no, but like, it's a really bad video and it involves some people and I just don't know if it's safe to put that on the internet. It's not hard to find this channel if you know about the m &S show. For safety reasons, <laughs> I probably won't tell that story. And if I do, it'd be years later, to be honest, so. But I did punch somebody, so. That happened. You know what I've been thinking about lately? Oh my god, it's snowing. That's nice. I don't know why people hate snow. They're like, uh, it ruins everything. It ruins all my plans. Oh, like you had plans to leave the house. Um, I think I'm gonna go. I don't know what I'm gonna film next. Actually, you know what I'm gonna film next? And I don't care if nobody wants to watch this because I want to film it because literally all I, all, the reason I'm still on this planet is music. I love music so much. So I think my next video, what I'm gonna do is do a song favorites because I literally haven't done that. Yeah, I haven't done that in so long. And honestly, those are like my favorite videos to film even though they're not anybody's favorites to watch. But you know what? I don't care. I'm gonna film it. I like filming them. We're gonna do that. All right, I'm gonna go. So I don't, I... Sorry, I- bye. <laughs>